and, and we're, we're the streeters. streeters. Welcome to the RDRV channel where we teach, share, and explain everything about glass. Today is session four in our Glass 101 series. Yeah, so hey, gang, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solder the correct way, and also I'm going to teach you the correct way to finish your stained glass projects. So today we're going to give you five tips on how to be a pro in stained glass soldering. Awesome, Barb, let's go to the studio. Come on in. Today we're soldering and, and giving you a few tips about how to solder and how to make your soldering work look really nice. So first of all, you know, your soldering iron is very important as well. This is just a typical studio iron, a hundred watt iron. I don't recommend using anything less than a hundred watt iron. And then your next thing is going to be, you have to have a rheostat. Otherwise you're going to burn your soldering iron up in very short period of time. And you're not going to be able to control the way the solder beads up. Solder too hot, doesn't beat up at all. Solder too cold, doesn't beat up at all. So you've got to get it just right and by using a rheostat or a wattage controller, you will be able to succeed in your soldering, uh, in, with your soldering dilemmas. And I, I can almost bet you, if you're having trouble soldering, you're either working too hot or too cold without a rheostat or you got the wrong iron. Guys, this will help you out a lot. Simple 100 watt iron and we're gonna start, I've cleaned up the cardinal, I've got him all foiled, I've made sure, just hey, keep a little bit of steel wool right in your studio. Just clean up your cardinal if, you're, if you've been a day or two before you could you know, get back to him soldering. I'm gonna, now we're gonna flux this because we're gonna take this cardinal and we're gonna do what's called tinning. So we're gonna tin the cardinal. Because this is a sun catcher, this is how we have to do it. So we're gonna tin the cardinal. And you hear that nice little sizzle. Doesn't take a lot. And you can, if you can see this going around the cardinal, my copper foil is so clean that it's doing exactly what I need it to do. So I'm using today, I'm using a 50-50 solder because I do an awful lot of lead work as well. Now the 50-50 solder melts at a much lower temperature. This way I'm ensured that when I'm working with lead, I really don't have to worry about it getting too hot or getting my iron too hot because it won't melt the lead. 50-50 melts at a much lower temperature and it's so much easier to control. So we're gonna tin the other side of this cardinal and you can see tinning, that's exactly what we're doing. We're just tinning the copper foil. So once we get this all tinned, I'm gonna set my soldering iron down and I want you to see. So now we've tinned the top, we've tinned the bottom and now we're gonna work on the sides right here. What this does by working the solder on those grooves is it makes the solder rounded like that. And it gives that substantial stability to the copper foil. Now just a little something about solder, a little quick secret. Unwrap that twice, put a hook in it, now guess what? Your solder is working for you. This is your $10 an hour man right here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of flux and I'm just, I'll just dab it off. If you put too much flux on your work, all it does is bubble and boil. And if you're having that problem with your work, guess what? Just lay off the flux a little bit. I use a Ruby flux. Everybody says, Ed, why do you use Ruby flux? Well, I got turned on to it about 30 years ago and uh, it's still available and I find it, it works really good. Now I'm not promoting Ruby Flux, I'm just telling you what I use. This is what it looks like. You get two of these bottles here for about $20 and I go through a lot of it. You used to be able to buy it in gallons. So let's get back to the soldering. We are gonna now tin the edge of the foil. 
Now I want you to see, and I'm gonna, we're gonna just kind of look at this. Now when you're soldering this, you really have to keep everything level. Keep, keep it level. And you're just gonna do what I call a touch and go. And again, remember, we are just beating up the solder and I'm gonna show you how this looks. It's just, and because we wanna make the edge of the solder, because this is a sun catcher, very rigid and substantial so that we don't have a problem with it coming apart. You can see the edge is nice and rounded and we're gonna do that all the way around just real quick gang. And then I'm gonna show you just what happens. See, it's just a quick, and this 100 watt iron, I've got my rheostat sitting on about six and a half or 65, however you wanna look at it. So what you wanna to remember too, is that while you're trying to keep this level, Gravity is always working against you. We all know what that's about. So even that little, I got it. Thanks for sending it in in the comment page. Several of you got it. Let me know about it. That was awesome. It makes you feel good when you do something like that. I know it does. So now we have our, the edges of our cardinal have been soldered. And now we're gonna do the same thing right here to our wing. So now I want to show you something. We're talking about soldering. We've got this all together here. This is just a little project that I'm working on. I, uh, I make these little kayaks and they're adorable. This one just doesn't have the paddle on it. But I want to show you, um, we're going to take and make sure that we clean this copper foil because this has been sitting for probably a week now. And we're gonna clean that copper foil really well. And this is the center of the boat because of course it has a seat that goes in it. So, I'm gonna show you something. We're gonna knock off a little bit of the flux. And I want you to hear this. It's just a night, a little, little bubble. So the other thing that I'd like to, to talk to you about is I'm just gonna borrow this sponge right here, but we do need to keep our iron kind of wiped down a little bit because this tip that's inside the iron here, this tip is tinned as well. So if we get it, get too much solder and flux and junk built up on it, just every now and just real quick. Don't spend a lot of time at it because you're gonna lose your heat. So here we go. We're gonna do what we call a touch and go. And you can hear that and I'm touching and going. And then on the edge of the iron, right there, right there. Give the solder time to melt, pull it back. Okay, now you can see right here, that's exactly what I wanted to show you. When there's too much flux, it bubbles and spits. And next thing you know, you're trying to clean up all those bubbles and you can't do it until that extra flux is either wiped or evaporated away. So we're doing what's called a touch and go. I am not using much solder at all, guys. Not at all. Using the corner edge of the soldering iron, straight down and straight up. And if you do that, you can see the solder melt behind the iron, which is towards the camera here. And when you watch it melt, just pick straight up. And you know what happens? You make a professional bead of solder that most people who've been doing it for a very long time can only do. 
So take your time, don't get frustrated, don't be painting. This is not a paintbrush, this is your soldering iron. So once you allow yourself to do that, you get really a beautiful bead on that. So now we have the Cardinal tinned, and then we have his wing tinned. So now we're gonna, we're gonna flip him over. We just got him cleaned up. So now your Cardinal wing, you can put, you can adjust it just about any way that you want. But what it, what this does is the tip of his wing fits right in the curl of the back of his neck. So we're gonna take a little bit of flux on our brush, knock it off, do not get a lot of flux on it this time, okay? So we're gonna do, we're gonna do what we call a tack cider, solder. Tack cider? How about a solder joint? So we're gonna do it, let me move the glass cleaner here. So we're gonna do a tack solder joint because now we wanna attach his wing to his body and there's enough solder on both pieces just to go, just like that, boom, boom, and boom, okay? So, then I'll use my little pointer here. It's imperative that when we anchor the wing to the cardinal, that we make sure we get it all along this edge right here. Two reasons. Number one, our hanger is gonna go right here. And the rest of this, we just you wanna keep the dust out of it. And you also wanna just make it so that it's very rigid, okay? These are sun catchers and you have to worry as much about the construction of a sun catcher basically as you do a window because if you hang this, you know, gravity eventually will pull everything apart. So there's that nice flat edge right there on the tip of the cardinal, okay? So now we've come to, we've foiled everything, we've soldered everything, we've attached the wing. Now, let me just show you how to take a wire, attach a wire to this, and because of where it's going, which is right here where these two pieces are joined together, it'll never pull out and it'll never pull the copper foil away. So when you're working with sun catchers and, and different, even small things, keep in mind about the structural integrity of it. Don't just stick a hanger somewhere where you think it looks good. Stick a hanger where it's gonna stay there, okay? Great, we'll be right back. I'm gonna grab some wire. And gowns, that this is hot. This is copper wire, so it's gonna be hot and it's gonna stay hot. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is just get that kind of wrestled in there. The reason I use 50-50 is because I do a lot of big lead work and the 50-50 melts at a much lower temperature. So I don't have, I can cut my iron back and still do what I need to do with the lead. This is black patina. They also make a copper patina. The copper patina looks very pink to me, but that's just me. You can clean your bird up with warm soapy water. The Ruby Flux comes right off and then you're all set for the next step. This is leaving the copper or the solder silver. So hi everybody, welcome back. I just wanna go over these five tips for soldering your work perfectly. Okay, number one, make sure the temperature of your iron is correct. Can't be too hot, can't be too cold. Make sure you use a rheostat and a minimum of a 100 watt soldering. Number two, the foil on your project must be clean and free of all oxidation. Makes sense, right? So here we go, number Three. So we want to make sure we use the right flux. Don't use a paste flux. Number four, don't add too much flux to your project because then you're boiling flux. And where does it say we need to boil our flux first? I don't know, but don't do it, please. What? Number five, coming at you. Use only the solder that's made for stained glass. I use, again, I don't promote these companies. I don't make any money off of them. 
I've been doing this long enough that I've weeded out all the trashy and I do use the companies that have a good product. So this particular solder is called Amberway. I love it. There's not any trash in it, but I only use their 50-50, so I can only vouch for their 50-50. 60-40 doesn't work for me uh, because, again, I do so many big lead projects. Hi, Barb. We're back in the studio. That sure was fun. That was fun. And you know what? We learned more than five tips on stained glass. I think we did. I hope everybody's enjoyed the class and maybe even learned something and build up a little bit of confidence when you start cutting glass. If you like this class and you want to learn more about stained glass, check out our playlist. We have a whole list of classes on stained glass and then we have all four classes in one playlist so you can start from one and go all the way through this last one. Yeah, so that's For great. a full list of tools, go to our webpage, conwayglass.com forward slash RDRV. Yeah, don't forget the RDRV when you click on that page, scroll down a little bit, a whole, an entire list of tools for this project. Thanks for watching the RDRV channel.